Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wayne. Hope you all are doing well. Welcome in new followers. I'm so grateful that you're here. And welcome back, my regulars. I'm so grateful that all of you are here so we can co-create a wonderful reading looking at messages for the highest and greatest good, channeled messages that will help support you, guide you, validate your experience to becoming more and more yourself. So with those intentions in place, let's look at this reading. The overall energy of this reading is the devil. Capricorn energy, desires, attractions. What do we need to look at? What is are the most important messages for the viewer? Okay. So it looks like we're looking at a broken contract with the Hierophant in reverse, Seven of Wands in reverse, Nine of Cups in reverse, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Cups. Feels like there's um, an end of a contract. Someone doesn't have the higher ground. Someone's very out of alignment. There's a lack of stability and security here, a lack of loyalty. And then there's this 10 of cups. It feels like there's someone, despite what's going on, there's someone who's choosing to be happy despite what's happening, despite this devil energy and this uh, broken contract. What's the broken contract about? Uh, let's see, we have unexpected money in reverse. So expected money, a funeral in reverse, and prison. Feels like this contract feels binding with the prison. Like it, this contract felt like a prison. And so the contract was broken. This is kind of the feeling I'm getting. A funeral in reverse. Something's not over. Something is not over about this contract. And there's money that's expected around this. Anything else that we need to know about this contract? What are the most important messages? Masculine energy, authority, discipline, father figure. And intimacy in reverse. Mutual respect in reverse. So a lack of mutual respect, a lack of, a lack of intimacy, a lack of unity, a lack of closeness with this masculine energy. So... All right, that's where we're starting in this reading. Let's continue on and look at what the hidden blessings are. Ace of Wands in reverse. Um, hidden blessing. A lack of passion, a lack of creativity, a lack of spark, a lack of desire, and somehow that's, that is a hidden blessing. What do we need to know about the lack of spark? Six of Cups. You, yeah, wow, star card. You've healed your relationship with the past, with past wounds. This, this is one of my favorite images of Six of Cups because it just it illustrates 
poor treatment in the past. Unequal type of caring, a lack of caring by this person of this type of treatment. So what I'm gathering is that you're no longer interested in being treated poorly, that you've healed this aspect of yourself. Wow, that really, that makes you, by healing these childhood wounds of being, accepting treatment that's less than what you want, less than what you deserve, it looks like you've healed that and it makes this devil energy no longer um, interesting. There's no spark I because you know what this is about. This is if you are in this type of codependent relationship or addictive relationship enmeshed where you aren't allowed to have healthy boundaries where you you center someone else in your experience instead of centering your own self and your own experience your soul's experience Wow, you've really, you've done a lot of healing as I'm kind of tuning in it, that makes you less susceptible or it, it just doesn't work. Someone who's healed, who's healed their childhood trauma, who's done a lot of the healing from this codependent, devilish obsession, addictions, toxic trauma bonds type of energy you've healed and so it feels like that ten of cups is for is you i'm choosing to be happy i'm going to heal this and i'm going to be happy i'm not going to allow what others do to take my power away and make me miserable I'm going to take my power back. I'm going to learn from this. Heal. And, and move on and have my happily ever after. Wow. All right. What you're leaving behind is the Ten of Wands in reverse. It looks like in the past you were tasked with doing the emotional labor, being the scapegoat, carrying the blame. Someone who's lording over you, I feel miserable and I perceive it's your fault, so you need to fix me, fix how I feel. So it feels like you've you might have been doing the mo emotional labor all your life. That might have been the childhood trauma. A parent who you had to parent. You had to put the parent's feelings and emotions first instead of the child, your feelings. You had to cater. You had to learn how to suppress, repress your emotions, hide your emotions, disassociate a lot of coping strategies to be in an environment where a parent or parents don't care about the child or help regulate the child, care about their emotions and their feelings and helping them learn how to work through them. Instead, it feels like you've been in environments with narcissists, self-centered people. And people who have made it your problem to fix how they are feeling and how they're feeling about you is a problem. You need to fix and change you, the environment, do, do work to make me feel better. So this is it. You're leaving behind people who 
are immature and don't take responsibility for their own feelings, their own emotions. It is each of ours responsibility as adults to work with our emotions. It's not other people's problem if you have an emotional response. It's yours. It's an indicator like coming on that there's something here that I need to address. And I think as a collective for eons, we've been feel something intense, feel emotions intensely, and then assess blame. Who is to blame for how I'm feeling uncomfortably? I remember in my household, like we literally... My mom, whenever one of us would become sick, if she became sick with a cold or one of the kids did, the first thing that she wanted to assess was blame. Where'd you get this from? Who gave this to you? Who can we blame for how miserable you're feeling? And there was a little bit of a joke to it, but I got the feeling that my mom, that that was her indicator. If I feel unpleasant in any sort of way, who did this to me? Who can I blame for this? One finger pointed out, three pointing back. It's an indicator of something that you can take care of. All right, so you're leaving the behind um, doing emotional labor you're also leaving behind someone who people who are reckless with your care people who don't know how to evolve 11 11 on the clock right now people who don't know how to evolve who are stuck in a pattern stuck in this narcissistic abuse cycle so it looks like you're leaving a lot behind. Wow. All right. What else are you leaving behind? Okay. There's a... This feels more like responsibility for others again same message different cards so let's move on how to get the most of this energy is the six of swords in reverse interesting this feels like walking on eggshells this feels like um nervousness anxiety um worry this feels stuck in worry stuck in that anxiety unable to move on walking on eggshells there's no way out of it just feels like a chronic worry all right so <clears throat> there's this constant anxiety this constant walking on eggshells how do we get the most of this energy This is more messages about um, old patterns, old ways of being, not allowing your fears to dictate how you move, learning how to work with your emotions, how to sit with your uncomfortable emotions, not staying in environments that, and around people who are creating who are um, you have to walk on eggshells with S leaving environments where you're uncomfortable there's kind of a two way there's an internal learning how to work with your emotions learning to work with difficult emotions like worry anxiety and then there's another message about are there people in your environment who you just you it isn't that you can't find that calm within it's that you're in the environment the environment is not conducive 
for peace. So there's a little bit of, I'm getting two messages. There's a, how to make the most of this energy is finding that inner peace. And there's also like, can you find peace in the environment you've been in? Is your nervous system so jacked up and so used to walking on eggshells around someone else? So centering their experience, centering how they feel, worried about them, centering like constantly, is this person happy with me? Is this person um, okay? Am I okay with this person? So it feels like you've centered someone else instead of centering yourself. Am I okay with me? Yeah. Is this person having a bad day? Yeah. Is that my fault? No. Is that my problem? No. It's their problem. Um, but they're making it my problem. That type of energy. It feels like um, assessing. Only you can decide, right? If what message is for you. Is this something I need to work on finding internal peace, like calm within? Or is it my environment with these people, with these situations, I can't find peace here. And so a need to make a change, do something differently. That also has been coming up a lot in personal readings. People who want change, who want the, the messages to be different, but they're not doing anything differently to create a change in the energies. Einstein said that doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result is insanity. And that's kind of what I've been perceiving a lot in personal readings. People who really do want things to be different, but they're not doing anything different in their environment to create an, a shift in the energies, new thoughts, new ideas can come in. But if you're thinking the same thoughts and you're not taking any new actions, you're not going to new places, you're not doing new things, you're not curious about something, <clears throat> then then yeah, the, the energy doesn't change. Time may pass but the energy stays the same. So a lot of times intuition gives you an idea of a place to go. And it feels like following your intuition, even if it doesn't feel like it's a big hit that has something to do with what you're wanting to create in your life. I've got a, a an intuitive hit to go to the store and um, go get a toy for my dog. It feels like it's not about anything. But once you start following your intuitive hits, then then you start recognizing where and how you receive your intuition. You start following it more and more and your guides start really interacting with you because you're, you're willing to take action on the hits that you're getting. So that might be for some of you out there needing to hear that. All right, what's supporting you is the Three of Pentacles. It looks like you're working, maybe working with others. There's a sense of accomplishment here, achievement, collaboration. Justice, wow. Justice in, it feels like there's, um, 
the collective. I'm perceiving this three of pentacles and justice as um, the collective consciousness has a lot of justice, fairness, equality. And those who haven't done the work, those who are still stuck in old patterns, still fighting those old, um, trying to keep toxic systems afloat. It feels like in, the, in these astrological energies, in this present energy, the weather, the energetic weather is very conducive for the collective making collective decisions. People are deciding in the collective what's fair and what's just going forward. And those who sow seeds of chaos, competition, that just haven't woken up to more conscious way of being, of being authentically yourself and service to others. That's that Aquarian energy. Those who aren't un unique and authentic, those who are masking and false and fake, it feels like they're being seen more clearly in this energy. It feels like a, a, this shift is ongoing for a, quite a while. Like I'm even seeing the next 100, 400 years, it feels like a lot of shifts towards more fairness, more justice being innovation, technology, people who are innovative, innovative, inventive, allowing themselves to be themselves and f having a role of being a part of a, of a collective and being of service. Boy, that's really beautiful. All right, feels like a, a lot of readjusting, balance, rebalancing out things falling down that are no longer mm, supported in this energy and new structures that are very Aquarian rising up. Wow, all right. What to be mindful of is, yeah, the chaos. A lot of fighting, a lot of chaos, a lot of um, people not wanting to lose, not wanting to, it feels like a lot of emotions coming to the surface. There's this very sweet energy here as well. The Six of Swords in reverse again with the Six of Wands in reverse. This is so chaos, nerves, heightened nerves, heightened worries and anxieties, a lack of success, chaos. So we've got on one end, we've got this very sweet, loving energy that feels like it's kind of rising out of this and then a bit of chaos worry, anxiety, uh, as the older structures, the structures that no longer can build and keep growing in this environment, the toxic structures, the structures uh, that are inauthentic, the people who are inauthentic, the governments who are inauthentic, the corporations, it feels like 
people are are seeing injustices and speaking them out it does feel like um those who are doubling down on this toxic energy they don't know any other way they don't know how to get out of this toxic energy this devil energy feels like it it's a especially rough time for them because there's a lot of collapsing yeah <laughs> the wheel of fortune in reverse yes they're in lesson they're in the universe's hands there's this opportunity for um, people to learn to wake up to heed the calling but there's a real resistance to doing the work those who don't want to wake up those who don't want a new way of being those who benefited and profited off of things staying toxic don't want things to change those who have found power and control and manipulation and have benefited from toxic systems don't want those toxic systems to collapse but they are all right there's also this very loving energy here page of cups it feels like a new way of being um All right, so it feels like, oh, okay. So the bowling feels like it's going to get more intense or it, okay. I'm tuning into this feels like um, a level of cruelty something oh I'm getting all um, this feels like it's coming out in the collective a lot of cruelty against innocent people people who have taken advantage of people's innocence and been okay with that oh thank goodness the world card it looks like that's ending there's new leadership coming in to address this inequality where those that are the most vulnerable are the those who are taken advantage of the most it feels like as I'm perceiving what's there's something coming to light in the outcome here um, such cruelty against innocence that um, that the collective feels the 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 hurt the wound It feels like whatever this this cruel act maybe there are several cruel acts that feel so unconscionable unconscionable that um, that as a collective we 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 decide as a whole like that's enough we can't that's unacceptable going forward this type of bullying this type of cruelty because because you can treat someone that way because someone is can't defend their 
because they're they're innocent, they're naive, they're yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to kind of piece through. I don't want to add um, fuel to a fire here, but there's th that feels very heartbreaking. Like as a collective, all of us like, <gasps> no, this this can't this can't have like that as a collective. All of us kind of agreeing that going forward being that cruel to people people person who is innocent who's vulnerable yeah Whew. ouch ouchie that hurts my spirit i hope whoever um it feels like what's happening is happening for us so we can see so we're no longer hiding and and not seeing things. It feels like uh, a lot is coming to the public consciousness so we can make some really big, powerful decisions about what we want as a collective going forward. So, whew. <laughs> I hope this was helpful. Take care, bye.